Hey guys, EST here with another cool gear review, and I love the obscure stuff. So you know what we got this time? Strike a fire, like giant, I guess, fire starting matches, and then pocket bellows. I got both of these for, oh, I want to say like 10 bucks between them, probably not even, at this uh, camping show. And they sold a lot of Koglin stuff, but this is Diamond, which I think they make a lot of matches, and then EOG, which I've actually never heard of. So will these two work? And will I ever get better lighting for a video? One of those two we'll find out shortly. So I just saw this on the shelf. I'm not even sure how it works. Never seen anything like it. Never used anything like it. And I thought this would be a really cool thing to review for a video. I have a theory that if you're um, building a fire with like subpar fuel, you know, just all kinds of wood in different states of decay and dryness and all that, you're going to get less than ideal coals. Uh, I don't know if that happens to you. It happens to me all the time just building campfires in my backyard. Hey, if it's free firewood on Craigslist, I'm going to get it. So my coals tend to get really covered very quickly. And I'm not like burning leaves or anything stupid, but uh, I don't know. It's just the bark or something that I just get really white coals. And then when I blow on them, I get really red coals. And I also get really close to it and get a little winded. So I can definitely use this, but this isn't going to help you light a fire. It's going to help you maintain a fire, but it will definitely help you have a less smoke emitting fire. And that's huge. But let's start with this right here. So this is a 12 minute burning like fire starter stick, which those are silly. Just, I mean, if you've seen my other video, cotton balls, petroleum jelly, and a ferro rod, and you will have a fire starter. It won't burn for 12 minutes, but it'll get your fire started. So these are pretty silly. I mean, it's a lot safer to transport and easier than um, gasoline. But I think the average person who's been around fires doesn't need this, but it's still kind of neat. I mean, it's nice and compact. Oh, they got the striker surface right there. Okay, so you can't lose the box. I already don't love that. Oh, and I paid $250 for it. Hey. Let's see how many are in here, actually. This is really heavy. I think I got a really good deal. Oh, eight fire starters. I could just read the box. How about that? I love how it says flammable, do not drop. Well, let's let's test that. No, it didn't light on fire. Who would have thought? I think those are two different statements. Like, warning flammable, also don't drop, eat my Kraken in half. Because it's uh, probably some kind of like... Oh, look at that. Not even plastic. Ooh. Okay, well, now I hope it's wax-coated fuel, which is what I was going to say, because... Uh, well, there's no humidity controls. This looks like uh, particle board. Actually, it looks exactly like that. So probably just a little bit of extra flammability. Well, we're going to go outside and see if we can light a fire with this and then blow on it with this. But uh, let's unbox it. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, I paid $12.99 for this. Why did I do that? So this is a pretty wild box. Uh, we got an ancient technology molded into an innovative modern tool. Okay. Compact, lightweight, extremely effective. Yeah, it looks like it if you can just hold it in this. It's kind of cool. So the whole thing is it will save your beard and your eyebrows. Uh, extends to 20 plus eyebrow saving inches. And collapses to 3.5 plus or minus inches. I love how they don't take it too seriously. But it's like eye-catching and it's interesting. And they got the product right here. So not a complete fail. You know, they don't take themselves too seriously to say this is going to change your whole life. It's like, it is what it is, buy it. Oh, and they're promoting Baddest Bee Fire Fuses, which uh, I've never used those, never even heard of those. But it gives you some basics. Uh, it's kind of cool, actually. Well, let's crack it open. Oh, UPC if you want to find it somewhere, I guess. Oh, look at that. Okay, so they got some tips. Not bad. So here it is. It kind of looks like an antenna. Interesting. Wonder how hard it'll be to get it back in there. A little worried about that. Oh my. Huh. Well, this is interesting. I have the strangest notion that you're supposed to use your lungs on this side, and it comes out this side, and it's not a true bellows. It's just a wind focuser. This is interesting, I gotta say. It looks probably stainless or aluminum, so this is pretty indestructible. I like the carrying case, but I was hoping this would fold out into actual bellows, but I have my doubts looking at it. So I went outside to make the world's most hastily put together uh, pile of sticks, and that's what happened the first time. So it turns out you're supposed to go uh, vertical. You know, let's just mulligan that one. Yeah, it burned my hand on that one, so a lot of heat coming off of it. Uh, unfortunately, the way I held it and how I had to drop it, it went out. If you've ever messed with these fire lighters, they're not the easiest thing in the world to light with almost any source of fire. But I thought a couple thousand degrees of burning phosphorus would do it. So I took a second crack at her hair. Uh, let's see how many times it takes to light. Of course, I'm narrating this after the fact, so I already know. <laughs> I mean, the box and these are a little old. I maybe had them for half a year to a year. Didn't, like, store them outside, but I didn't store them properly. I don't know. There it is. Okay. 
And I can see that's some good flames you want to go up, obviously. It's not going to burn downward. You need the flames to start, you know, hitting the actual fuel portion. And once it starts going, unless you dunk it in water or something, it's not going to go out. I mean, some kind of like wax or something in there. Some kind of compressed hydrocarbon fuel. So not bad, but not the easiest thing to light. But boy, I mean, I think a magnifying glass or something could probably light that tip if friction didn't do it or if you didn't bring the box. I seriously doubt that a ferro rod could do it though. So in the other video, I showed some cotton balls and uh, petroleum jelly. So I thought, hey, let's uh, do a little comparison here. Oh, look at that thing go. I had to drop that quick. So um, a little bit more aggressive burn, I guess, initially much, much, much easier to light because of the uh, fibers. So I think that's the key here. And and a bag of cotton balls was a dollar at the dollar store, although $1.25 now, thanks Biden. And a can of petroleum jelly was the same. So I know which way I'd lean, but I mean, a 12 minute burn time, that is better, but harder to light in the first place. And if you need 12 minutes to light a fire, you stacked your firewood wrong. I, I don't know what you did. Hey, speaking of that, I purposely did this like, oh, it's raining out, it's snowing, who knows, and this is all the dry stuff I could find, and then I didn't slip it in on the bottom. So, uh, if you were to make those mistakes, you could see this isn't really going up. We're not really seeing the sticks light just because of the placement, even though it's a very aggressive long-term burn. So you want to go thin to thick and tall, not wide. This is how you don't build a fire, but this is how they always do it in the movies, and this is how people tend to do it in disasters. So I made some corrections, added some more sticks. You can see it's going up, added, you know, a little bit more uh, dry stuff, you know, just some vines, whatever was laying around. I, I actually didn't touch my wood pile for this. I just went to go see what was laying around to make it more realistic. Also, I'm bleeding, which makes it even more realistic. Let's blow on it and see what happens. Whoa. Jeez, okay. That made such an enormous difference. I fanned fires with plywood, magazines just blown directly on them. Yeah, you get an effect and it's dramatic, but this with the focus, I, I couldn't believe. I was blown away by just the sheer speed of it. There's no wasted effort, so you control exactly where it goes and you can control the flow completely. You can get nuts with it or you can just kind of softly encourage it to burn faster. Now, why would you want to do that? If it's already lit, it's not going to go out, right? Well, if you put wet sticks on top of it and all you could find was, you know, dry sticks for the initial burn, yeah, you'd want it to evaporate the uh, the water out of it and dry them off faster. Normally, you would just strip the bark off and really shake them off and, you know, get to the dry core and, you know, use a knife to get the, the wet parts off. But if your fire is hot enough, you could throw just about anything on it. Also, to uncover the coals just to keep it going at all or to revive it after sleeping for eight hours, you know, in the morning. Also, if it's burning hotter and cleaner, it creates a lot less smoke, almost none actually. So that's good if you want to be stealthy. Now, if you don't, you want it to get as hot as possible, as quickly as possible, so that you can throw a whole bunch of green stuff on it and have that just completely smoke out without actually smothering the fire. So for a super, super quick smoke signal or a super stealthy fire, it's great for both. And plus, if you're really cold, you're gonna want a big fire quicker, minutes count. Yet another reason would be if you want some coals to cook over. You don't typically cook over like flames this high, you know, licking the pan and stuff. You can, it, it will work. And if you have good enough cookware, that's fine. But if you want to just kind of grill, like you've just got some improvised thing made out of sticks and you slap some meat on it, you're going to want just some nice even temperature coals instead of like all fluctuating temperatures and the outside burns, the inside doesn't cook. You know, you want to be in control of it. It's kind of like, you know, a charcoal grill. So to get to that state, you want to burn the fuel as quickly as possible. So that's all different reasons that you would actually want to use these bellows. And they really work. I am super impressed to the point where I'm actually putting these in my glove box in my car. Because it's small, it's light, it's indestructible, it's got a great carrying case, and this will light any fire anywhere no matter where I'm at. Or not light it, but help really get it going for the reasons I just said. Let's see the difference when I just use my lungs from as close as I can comfortably get. You certainly get an effect, but it's so wide and you can't focus it, and it was not nearly as red of coals. And that was a lot more air and I ran out of breath a lot quicker. While getting a lot closer and sucking up some tasty smoke. So, um, I definitely recommend these. So I tested it here after it's been burning for quite a while and you can see all that white ash blowing off of the coals and you can kind of see that it's still burning really, really red. Like it is immediately just going to maximum thermal output from those coals and making a huge difference. In fact, I actually had to move my camera because it almost died again.
Oh. So as far as what I recommend these, uh, the fire starters, you can do a lot more with, you know, lighter, less room. I, I'm, I'm not feeling them. If you think, yes, I'm going to need those. Okay, go for it. Yeah, you can build your own, but if you're going to take the time and just expense and carry weight and burn time, you really can't do better than just petroleum jelly on cotton balls. They're lighter, they're smaller, they're safer, and you put a ferro rod in there for like three bucks from Harbor Freight and you're all set. They are really, really cheap though. And a cotton ball is not going to light like damp wood, so I don't know, 12 minute burn time? I could kind of see it. I will say though that I didn't precisely time it, but not even close to 12 minutes. But for the bellows, yeah, I can't really think of a better solution. I mean, a straw wouldn't quite do it. You've got the like two to one reduction in size, you got the perfect distance, and it's made out of metal that's pretty durable. It telescopes to get smaller, so you're not sticking like, you know, some 20 inch uh, pole somewhere in your backpack. I've never seen or used anything like it, and I like it, which I thought it would be the other way around. I thought, oh, the fire starters would be so convenient and great and better burn time and so cheap, and the bellows would be a gimmick. Uh, turned out to be exactly the opposite. But hey, the videos aren't sponsored, and I never know the results until after I'm done filming them. That's how I do it on this channel, so if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and check out some other great content I've got already uploaded. Plus, more to come in the future. In fact, hopefully tomorrow I'll get done filming how to charge your cell phone with AA batteries. Yes, it is doable, and yes, you have all the electronics around the house to do it. So watch for that, and I'll see you guys next time.